focusing on South Texas agriculture and protecting it, protecting its natural resources. We're talking about the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service this morning. Yeah, the U.S. Department of Agriculture has given the program permission to move toward commercializing a new strain of cotton. Roland Rodriguez is live at the AgriLife Extension Center. Roland, talk to us about this. It sounds like an agriculture breakthrough. Hi, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Mike, it is an agriculture breakthrough. Uh, with this new cotton strain, it has the potential to help feed over a half a billion, yes, billion people across the globe and also help cotton farmers double their income. It's only the fourth time ever that the university has successfully petitioned the USDA for deregulation and the first time in Texas. It's a major development um, because prior to this, we've been limited on, on what we can do with, with one of the major components of cotton because for every pound of lint, there's a pound and a half of seed produced. Uh, the problem has been that, that cotton naturally produces a toxin called gossipol that protects it from insect traits. The development was the result of a Texas A&M AgriLife research scientist life's work. One of our researchers in College Station, Kirti Rathori, uh, after a couple decades of working on, on this project, uh, found a way to silence that gene for producing the toxin in the seed. Uh, so without the toxin, now we can sell that seed for livestock feed for a number of different species. Humans can consume it. It would be an excellent source of protein, uh, especially in, in other parts of the world where that's a, a real problem with malnourishment. The breakthrough will allow farmers now to grow cotton for fiber and food. So the farmers who uh, ultimately end up choosing to grow ultra low gospel cotton could receive more of a premium on that crop because now they're not just selling the lint, they'll sell that seed at a, at a higher value. The new seeds can be eaten, grounded into flour, or made into a peanut butter-like spread. They can also provide an excellent source of protein for animals that were unable to consume cotton seeds before the discovery. One hurdle we're going to have to face here in the U.S. is that uh, for the, the cotton seed to make it on the market, the seed companies have to adopt it. Um, and so that could take some time depending on what their level of interest is. Um, I think the more immediate benefits are going to be seen in other countries though. And of course, if you'd like more information on this agriculture breakthrough, all you have to do is visit our website at KRISTV.com.